Hello, I am Anna Wiltos, and before we get into the the the, the gameplay, uh, let's take a brief look at a message that the devs gave me about the difference between the scimitar and the sword. So it looks like the main difference here is attack and strength. So attack, for those of you who aren't aware, is uh, how likely you are to hit and uh, a few other things rolled into that. And strength is how hard you can hit. So just uh, for your information. So let's get back to your regular programming. Okay, and we're in the game. So as always, uh, leave in the comment section a possible subject uh, for me to talk about, just uh, me to ramble on about, for me to give my opinion about. Doesn't matter what it is, even things I don't care about, I'll talk about it nonetheless. Okay, or nevertheless. Maybe that's an improper use of the English language. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's why you gotta be careful when walking, you don't want to fall off things. Of course, that is a constant problem always falling off things. Uh, if you actually do desire to fall off things, well... Maybe someone can arrange an unhappy little accident for you. I'm joking. No, nobody should arrange any unhappy accidents for anyone. But... Let's see how this goes. Okay. Okay, just taking a look at how this looks. Uh, this is not correct. I believe. Ooh. Not correct at all. So let's get rid of the hatchet. We're not using the hatchet. So for those of you who... Oh. Well... <laughs> Should have seen that one coming. For those of you who are unfamiliar with what is going on, as in what is going on in the screen right now, what is going on, what is this guy doing? Has this guy lost his mind? Well, uh, spoiler alert, no I haven't. I'm building a stairway all the way down this mountain. Ooh, there's a librarian down here. Well, hope he lives. But he might not. So right now, I have to produce uh, a little uh, villager. I don't know what to call that sound. Is it a sigh? Is it a moan? Is it a, a hmm? Yeah, that, that that is actually what it is. It's just somebody going hmm. But uh, is there a deeper purpose? A darker purpose? Who knows? Well... For now, let me make some generic, a, a generic pickaxe, because I can't be bothered to smell all this stuff at the moment. Also, I'm not really picking up any ores, so it, it's not like I have to worry about any anything related to that. But we're going to get this staircase built, uh, if it's the first thing we do. Or perhaps the last? Ooh, well, certainly wouldn't want it to be the last thing to ever be done, but uh, if, if that's the way the, the dice roll, well, what are we going to do about that? Well, I, I tell you, nothing. There's nothing we can do about that. Nothing at all. Okay, so I realized that I put all these little platforms in the wrong place. They're all at the wrong level. They should be at the upper half of the block and not the lower half. Even though the... Yeah. Just just not okay. So let's... Let's move all this. But actually we, we didn't have to move those. We can just fill that in. That's okay to fill in. And we add that. And there we go. Another pair of steps. 
But this falling damage is going to be a serious problem. Perhaps I should... Well, no, I don't think I can produce a ladder at the moment. But... Yeah, this is this is a really an engineering challenge. A serious engineering challenge. But no challenge is too mighty for uh, the the great Anultus. None at all. Oops, that's not the kind of block we want. Not at all. There we go. And let's just fill that in, because we don't need that. But what we do need is this. I think I have an increased range in this mod, an increased uh, range of uh, placing blocks. Okay, librarian seems interested in what I'm doing, but uh, these are state secrets we're working here. We can't let you know because if we let you know, we would have to eliminate you in a most unpleasant manner. And if we eliminated you in a most unpleasant manner, then I can almost guarantee you that uh, it will be unpleasant. <laughs> That's not what we want. Forgot to... There we go. That's lovely. Guess the next step is figuring out where this is going to touch the ground, but let's leave that for another time. But I think it's it's low enough for us to do this. And there we go. Here we are. It's really getting low. And once once we reach that place, well, what are we going to do then? Who knows? Maybe Michael Jackson knows, but he's dead now, so he'll never tell. Let's run up the stairs. Ah, lovely. A nice, safe way down. But it's not over. Not by a long shot. So there's two ways I could go about doing this. I could try building stairs all the way down here uh, into a valley, which doesn't really make that much sense. Or I could build a bridge over to the other side and then build stairs down. I think that would look much cooler and be more interesting overall. And I can maybe get rid of uh, a couple of these blocks. There we go. Wow, they still count as slabs. That's interesting. Interesting to note. And maybe add a few torches while I'm at it. You know, some uh, outdoor lighting. Always good. In case, uh, case the bad man comes. Don't want to mess with the bad man, my goodness. The bad man does bad things to you. Just some generic boogeyman story. A generic story about some generic boogeyman. Okay, for the bridge, uh, yeah, we'll we'll make a cobblestone. And we'll have to figure out what level that is. Oh, something's going down somewhere. Don't know what it is. Uh, hopefully, I will not find out. It's one of those things where you know nothing, nothing, nothing dangerous is going on, so you don't really have to worry about uh, being responsible for anything in that manner. But nevertheless, you don't want to be. The sun's gone over the hill. I might might be a better idea to get back home. But it's one of those things where, as long as you know that. Nothing dangerous is going on. There's no uh, no abuse. That somebody is just being anxious for some reason. That uh, you don't need to involve yourself. 
Now, of course, if something dangerous is going on, then you should involve yourself. You should uh, always strive to save lives. Because if you don't save lives, well, hmm, what, what does that say about your uh, personality, about your character? I don't know, maybe you tell me, but uh, saving lives is a good thing, a good thing. Let's get some agility experience, there we go. Use that run energy. Man, that's a long run. Okay, 54 XP. Okay, let's run all the way back. Okay, need to make sure to navigate this. This area is hard area. Ooh, survived it. Need to make sure that you follow the the curves, or rather the angles in the path, so that you can maximize the uh, distance that you can travel without interrupting uh, your sprinting. So there we go. 120 that's that's amazing and I think it's time to have a rest because if you don't rest you know what happens uh, get really tired um, you can uh, lose your ability to uh, reason mentally I'm not saying that you, you your brain just falls out because it doesn't you, your brain keeps going but it's it's just one of those things where it, it, it's harder to think and eventually it gets to the point where you just can't do it anymore and you die and th that's not fun whoever said that was fun well I certainly didn't but uh, nobody wants to die as far as I know I mean there might be someone out there but dying is not oh. <laughs> Why am I going down the hill if there's a staircase? Dying is, is not definitely not the way to go about uh, doing things. If you want to die, well, uh, maybe you should talk to your family, talk to your friends, talk to uh, everybody that has a stake in the things that you do. Because you know what? They might need you for emotional support. Maybe you think... Uh, they haven't been any use to you, but maybe you're a use to them. And if you're useless to them, well, then uh, maybe just maybe they uh, need to rethink how they treat you. Okay, so this is probably the best way to go about this, just to build up here. Okay, so we're not going to use full-size stone blocks, so we're going to use some slabs. That's right, we're going to make an ultra thin bridge made out of cobblestone something that actually doesn't exist in real life because let's be honest you can't build something like this once we're done with this you'll be looking at this and thinking man that that guy he knows how to build things but uh, when I say he knows how to build things I don't mean that he knows how to build things in a realistic manner because that's obviously such an unrealistic architectural technique my goodness look at that that's terrible that's dreadful I would not hire this guy as my architect because he is so bad at uh, supposedly the thing he says he's good at. And you know what? I don't care. Alright? I'm doing this because it's because I can. Because it's possible. And if you don't like that, well, then maybe, just maybe, you should uh, reevaluate uh, your... Uh, well... Don't don't even know what to reevaluate. I guess that's up to you. You have to evaluate what you should reevaluate, and once you are able to evaluate what you should reevaluate, then uh, maybe you should reevaluate that with uh, all your strength. And uh, uh, always remember, uh, don't cut your heart out because your heart is uh, valuable to your life. If you cut your heart out, how are you gonna live? That's right, uh, bam, big, big reveal. That, that's deep, if I ever said anything deep. That is the, the deepest ocean ever. I'm joking. 
it's not a deep ocean. It's a, it's more like a, a deep potato. And how can a potato be deep? Well, um, if you drop it in the water and it floats, well, then it's obviously not deep. So what you have to do is you have to ensure that it doesn't float and then it goes down into the water. And once it's uh, deep down, then, oh my goodness, you just realized, my goodness, he was right all along. It is deep. It is deep. And what are you going to do about that? At this point, there's nothing you can do. What difference at this point does it make? That that wasn't a uh, that that wasn't somebody being indifferent to uh, the plight of uh, an ambassador and a few soldiers. No, that was somebody making a prophecy, saying if a potato is deep, what it doesn't make a difference, and maybe that's a life lesson that we all should learn that it doesn't matter how deep a potato is because if it's deep it's deep and there's nothing you can do about it nothing nothing at all just try it just try doing something about it I dare you that's right that's a challenge try doing something about it because I guarantee you that if you even try somebody is going to get in trouble and Trust me when I say it's not going to be me, all right? I didn't tell you any of this. This Well, I did, but uh, pretend I didn't because it's top secret information. Uh, if you do not appreciate uh, upturned stairs or top secret information, then maybe you should stop watching right now because, my goodness, it is getting so top secret. Uh, the NSA doesn't even know what's going on. They they are left out of the loop. That's how top secret we are right now. The NSA doesn't even know. That's maximum top secret. That's beyond top secret. That's uh, bottom secret. That's right. It's so secret that it's at the bottom of the ocean. And if you didn't know how to get to the bottom of the ocean, well, then you never would have gotten to the secret. But whoop de doo you are actually at the bottom of the ocean right now. Look around you. It's the bottom of the ocean. Surprised? Well, I'm not. I was expecting this. I'm ready to be at the bottom of the ocean. Maybe you're not, but uh, perhaps you should be. And that's the lesson for today. If you're not at the bottom of the ocean right now, and you're not ready for it, maybe, just maybe, you should be ready to be at the bottom of the ocean. Because let's be honest, the bottom of the ocean, that's amazing. Look at the bottom of the ocean it's a place uh, where it's there's fish not as many fish as uh, closer to the top but still a lot of fish and uh, I should probably light this place up uh, let's uh, go with the good old function 7 from uh, what's what's its name mod what's the name of the mod whoa uh, this is not what I wanted. Did I press the wrong button? This is not what I wanted. I did not want, uh, I, I suppose these are chunk lines. But it looks cool. Um, it's like when, uh, it's that scene from, uh, End of Evangelion where all the people, uh, get sucked up into one. But uh, that's obviously not what's going on here. It's a display feature that I did not want. There we go. And was that? Nope. Uh, function six. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, thank you, Jose. I don't know who you are, Jose, but uh, not today. Oh, no, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. It is getting even worse. I am pressing all the wrong buttons here. Function 7? Alright. Well, it looks like uh, we're in the Matrix now. And... You know what? I, I think it can be enjoyable. There you go. It's, uh, it's the Matrix. The Matrix has you. And you know what else has you? 
diabetes. That's right. Uh, you should really always watch what you eat and how you eat it. For example, potatoes. Don't eat too many because you could get sick. Um, especially if they're raw. Don't don't eat too many raw potatoes. That's not good for your health. Um, I don't know whether raw potatoes can give you diabetes. Well, I guess they could because, uh, you know, it's uh, got carbohydrates in it, but excessive consumption of carbohydrates can render someone highly susceptible to diabetes. But I don't think in this instance it is uh, justified or justifiable that that is indeed what has happened because let's be honest potatoes yeah they're, they're a bit sugary but definitely not as much as let's say a banana my goodness bananas those things are sweet unless they aren't in which case they aren't sweet but I guess that's the thing with everything everything is something unless it isn't that thing in which case it definitely is not that thing however it still could be that thing if it is possible for it to be that thing but then again, this is the Matrix, so you never know. You never know who programmed this. Was it Notch? Was it Andrew Gower? Who was it? It. No one knows. Not anymore. You can't explain that, as uh, Bill O'Reilly infamously said. You can't explain that. You can't explain... The, the lines in the sky it, look at that those are some lines if I ever said so and I am saying so right now but anyway it's I think it's time for me to go to uh, bed in game uh, there's there's one right through my house uh, this is going to cause some uh, trouble this is going to cause a war people are going to look at that and see those are the bonds that uh, the bounds that divide us though ah, there you go Try to level up real quick. There we go. And I think that's all for today. And I will be seeing you all next time. I will toss over and out. I'm going to have to reload the game. <laughs>